So the next team that is going to come in is um, CFAT. Where's the whoop? <laughs> <sighs> Not many CAT students here, man. <laughs> Where are the CAT students, people? <laughs> Have they ponting already? Uh? <laughs> all right. CFAT. 21.1, all right? They are job trust, okay? And lecturer, our beautiful Miss Lai Ching. <laughs> okay, I will invite them in. Okay. Priya, you got a lot of friends, fans, huh? <laughs> all right, job trust, Miss Lai Ching's class, CFAT 21.2. A very good afternoon to everyone present here today. We are here to introduce to you our new and innovative service that you have been looking forward to. But before that, let me introduce to you my fellow group members. Hi, I'm Priya and this is Sandra, Ileana and Binghan. Now let's get started. Did you know that 70% of the teenagers out there are having difficulties in finding a job? Did you know it's so difficult for them to get a part-time freelance or even a full-time job? Or perhaps, are they just tired of being another victim of scam? Well, teenagers are known to be the number one victims for that many scams. Recently, on January 13, 2016, a 15-year-old girl and a 21-year-old woman were both scammed for up to 1,100 ringgit instead of earning the 150 that they were promised to. Doesn't sound too good, does it? But what if I say we have a solution to their problem? Introducing Job Trust. Job Trust, you might be wondering. We specialize in placing advertisements for job placements, specifically for teenagers being scam free. Hence, it's a trustworthy environment where teens are able to get a job and start earning. Let's take a look at certain features of our app. The main feature of our app is that we're a scam-free company. We're the only 100% scam-free company out there, hence teenagers need not fear and need not worry anymore. They just gotta click, get a job, and start earning. The next feature of our app, it's the transportation service. We have collaborated with Uber to reduce teens' burden to get to their desired location for their interviews on time. Hence, it's just a click away and they'll be not missing their interviews anymore. The third feature of our app, it's the online workshop. Through the online workshop, teens are able to enhance your communication and their interview skills. Besides, they will even be able to write a proper resume. Hence, this time, they will definitely get the job. As for the fourth feature of our app, it's rewards. Who doesn't like rewards? We here at Job Trust will reward them with gift cash vouchers or even meal vouchers if they have successfully managed to get a job through our app. As for the fifth feature, it's the discussion forum. In case you're wondering how this works, it's simple. Teenagers will be able to chat with other teenagers who are also using our app. Besides, they can ask us any questions and we here at Job Trust will give them a prompt reply. As for the last two features of our app, it's alerts and notifications and profiling. This sums up all the features of our app. Now, I'll be talking about the problems that is faced by teenagers and companies these days. For the first one, there is an increase in concentration of scam jobs in the market right now, which makes it harder for teenagers to find a job. This also decreases the probability of companies actually getting approached by these job seekers because they are afraid that this job, this job posting is not legitimate. To overcome this, we in Job Trust, we make sure that all our applicants go through a thorough and rigorous process of checking to gain our users' trust. Next, there is also a high requirement of experience as well as an age limit, which makes it harder for teenagers to find a suitable job. There is also a job posting service in the market right now is also rather quite expensive. But we here in Job Trust, we focus on teenagers and freelancers, which means there is low requirements and it's cheaper. Now I'll be talking about the marketing strategy. Among the seven Ps, we're focusing on these three Ps, which we have competitive advantage, which is product, price, and process. As for the product, we have three key main key features which differentiates us from our competitors. We are scam free, we provide transportation services, and we give rewards. For the price, we're using cost focus as our pricing strategy, which means 
we charge our users from little to no cost at all and the we charge our companies well relatively cheaper compared to other competitors. For example, we charge 100 ringgit per part-time job posting per month, whereas other, comp other competitors charge an average of 550 ringgit per job posting per month. Now, you might be wondering how our service actually works. It's easy. You simply just download our app from the major app stores or you could go to www.jobtrust.com.my and search for your job. Then, you could filter your search towards your preferences such as company name, full-time, part-time or location, choose the job that you want, upload your resume and apply. It's as easy as that and we will notify you when the company approaches you. Let me briefly explain about the potential risk job trust my face. As you can see, we have identified risks coming from potential entrants, security threats, and also from our fellow competitors. When we enter this market, we are expecting to face high risk coming from new entrants as the startup cost to build an app is quite low, meaning it's so easy to enter this market. So what if another app were to come up with a similar app like Job Trust? Well, we do, even if this happened, we do have the first mover advantage. We also be taking some steps to reduce this risk, which includes increasing our brand visibility through our strategic marketing plan. With social media being the forefront of our marketing and communications platform, we will be constantly active on social media to continually engage with our target market to expand our network to reach more teenagers. Carrying on, we predict the risk coming from security threats to be quite moderate. There is no app that's safe from attacks of malware and viruses. That includes Job Trust too. Hackers nowadays can easily hack any security holes that an app has. To reduce this risk, our app developers will be properly testing every inlet of our app before releasing it into the market. They will also be releasing new security updates as often and as quickly as possible to our users to decrease the vulnerability of our app to any possible security threats. Moving on, we predict the risk coming from threat of our competitors to be relatively low. There are many other job recruitment sites out there. However, none of them are mainly focused only on teenagers and freelancers that has been well established in Malaysia. We had also conducted a survey in which we found out that 90% of uh, respondents, that includes teenagers, mentioned that they are willing to use a job recruitment site that has features like online workshops, discussion forums, and transportation service, and it's also scam-free, just like Job Trust. By doing this survey, we truly are listening to what our users would like in the job recruitment site, so as we can satisfy the, our customers' needs, and in the future, we can gain more and more customers to use our app and land a job. Moving on, we'll now talk about the financial part of our business. This pie chart shows the estimated bre breakdown of our total revenue. The largest portion of our revenue will be coming from job posting by companies. How do we get this revenue? We will be charging 100 ringgit per month for each part-time of freelance job postings and 400 ringgit per month for each full-time job posting. The second largest source of our income will be coming from advertisements on our app and website. These advertisements include banner advertisements and pop-up advertisements, which will be charging 500 ringgit per month. Next. This bar graph shows the total expected revenue for the three years upon commencement of our business. In the first year, we are expecting to get 225,700 ringgit, and it is estimated to increase by 30% in the second year and a further 15% in the third year. As for the costing part, research and development costs will decrease year by year as our app will become more stable by then and fewer upgrades will be required on the other hand, growth and expansion costs will increase throughout the three years as we are aiming to make our product more well-known across the country. Infrastructure costs and operational costs will be more or less the same throughout the three years. We are seeking for initial capital investment for around 120,000 ringgit to start our business. This fund will be used to create our app and website and to set up our workplace. We have estimated that the payback period for our business will be in around three years' time. The accumulated total profit for the three years will be 193,800 ringgit. And using the figure above, we have calculated that the average annual return on investment to be around 20.5%. With an initial capital investment of just 120,000, you're looking at a return on investment of 20.5%. 
yearly. As we know, the current population of teenagers in Malaysia is around 5 million, and it is predicted to grow in the upcoming years. But Job Trust will be able to solve teenagers' biggest problem, which has been overlooked, and also bring in profits for all our investors. Job Trust, it's trustworthy, it's affordable, it's profitable, and it has it all. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Dr. Nordin. Can, can I ask? Can sure, I ask? of course, of course. Uh, we welcome this, your questions. This is, this is the last group, right? Correct. I promise you and I promise all the audience here, I will not ask any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> you may ask. The whole theme of your presentation and this business idea is about thrust. Correct? Yes. So my question to you is, how would you develop trust and preferably quickly because we have got problems in Malaysia about trust. <laughs> right? Now, I know that's quite a, quite a difficult question, but I'll give you some, some hints for you to answer. Take a look at taxi and the, on, the coming on stream of Grab and, and my taxi before and now Uber. Right? See how they develop the trust very, very quickly the moment they get into the online screening process, etc. So with that tips in mind, answer my question. Well, if you're wondering how we are scam free, first of all, and um, we actually only allow established companies such as Jasco, Giant, New Mobile, Maxis and DG to uh, allow to allow their ads to be posted with us and uh, we only allow this kind of companies because we want to establish trust so that our customers especially the teenagers they'll be like oh okay it's dg it's maxis oh yes we can work here you know it's trustworthy everybody will go but right now the problem is online there's all kind of jobs and the place is not really you know described properly and especially like freelance there's a lot of problem and most of the apps are actually uh, there are a lot of scams as i've personally experienced so as for the trust, and we also um, go through detailed and rigorous checking and all that so that we can uh, prevent uh, scams. I do have a question as well. Um, I think the biggest draw here is that you mentioned that it's scam free, um, but I think there's one gap or loophole perhaps you haven't quite uh, mentioned. What if the users scam you, um, meaning they, they, they think, because you didn't quite define what is the age limit to join this or set up a user account. So perhaps there could be an adult who's you know, creating a fake, a fake account and to get um, a job that's supposed to, you know, to go to a teenager. So, and of course, there are threats like um, you know, pedophiles and things like that. People come in, you know, your discussion forum availability in that, that app. I think that, that becomes quite dangerous. Um, so although you, you say that you are scam free, but there are other people who could scam you. <laughs> Yes, um, I just want to know um, how, how would you address such risks that users who use your app may not be who they claim they are? I would say that we, we have when they actually sign up for the app, there is an age limit and we uh, allow 16 to 22. And as for the part where you're worried where the users are scammers, uh, we also thought about that. And uh, we do go through detailed uh, and rigorous checking processes and uh, that's the profiling process. And uh, we do look in through all this before we allow them and we give them the job because we know that there are uh, risks like this involved. Of course, we, can, we cannot totally avoid it, but through that detailed and rigorous checking, I hope that we can reduce it to a moderate level. <laughs> <laughs> well, big clap to Group 21.2. Thank you very much.